Hi, this is Ian with Satellite Oasis, and this is a quick video about the AccuTrack 3 Plus. The AccuTrack uh, line of meters was a line of meters built uh, starting around 2000 and between 2000 and 2010. This specific meter was designed to work with the DirecTV AU9 style satellite dish, which, is, which was the precursor to the DirecTV Slimline. So it is compatible with the uh, DirecTV. 99-101 type uh, KAKU satellite dishes. It's also compatible with many KU brand uh, satellite dishes as well. So we'll go ahead and power this up. And we'll go into the main menu. So you see the LCD backlight. It has an LCD backlight, attenuate, on and off, uh, regular setup. DTV mode, swim mode, or multi mode. So we'll go ahead and just focus on the modes. Under DTV mode, you can see it's got the K high, KU, and K low signals at the 99 and 101. That's the DirecTV signals. Since this was primarily designed as a DirecTV meter, it has a specific DirecTV settings in here. Uh, as I said, it also work as a generic KU band satellite meter but it'll give you a little bit more detail. It basically frequency isolates these uh, specific satellites. So it gives you a signal bar if you were to connect a satellite dish up to it. So we'll go ahead and see. It's also compatible to a certain extent with SWIM. It's compatible with the SL5 SLMB and the SL3 SLMB. So we'll go ahead and set it to the SL3 SLMB. And it gives you the option to what's called dither. And dither is basically when you you get your satellite dish peaked out, and if it's at a peak, uh, the point that it starts to drop off, you mark that, and then you turn it the opposite direction a little bit, and the point that it starts to drop off, you mark that. And right in the middle of those two points would be the optimum place to set your satellite dish. That's dithering. So I'm going to go ahead and I have a swim connection. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. And as you can see, the signal increased. What's nice about this meter is it actually will give you uh, the reading of where you had a little bit low of a signal. So let me see if I can get it to drop down a little bit. And the bar will empty out. But you see it gave you the reading where it was, where it was high. So that's the swim functionality when it comes to this piece. Also you have the multi-mode which basically it'll give you because it's it's has a dissect switching built into it let me see if I can get that to zoom in there there you go it'll give you an ability to look at multiple satellites at the same time which is kinda neat uh, it doesn't positively identify satellites but the idea behind using a meter in, in a lot of circumstances before you actually had a, a meter that did DDSI type uh, satellite identification like you would pretty much set your elevation and tilt, and if you got a signal on your meter, you knew it was right, as long as your your mount was plumb. So the same principle with this. As long as you have a plumb mast, you've set your elevation and tilt settings correctly, and a signal comes in, it's probably going to be the right one. Uh, that's the way it was done until basically the bird dog became popular and the super buddy. So we'll go back into the main menu, and you have set up there's not much in setup but it's it's there so we'll go ahead and power it down it, it comes with a of course the input from the satellite and then it also has a port for you to connect your receiver if your battery was dead you can actually recharge this meter because it comes with rechargeable batteries and it comes it's a it's a plastic piece with a rubber protective housing and it comes with a lanyard. It was designed for DirecTV. It was a quality meter. DirecTV installers carry them. So it is still a good quality meter. I would I would say you an RVer would be the perfect customer for this. A do it yourself for even a satellite installer on a budget. I think you could still use it. You know if you know what you're doing you don't need to to positively lock on the signal. You, you can pretty much get the gist of it so yeah this is the AccuTrack 3 plus it knew it went for probably 
two hundred plus dollars when it first came out. Now you can expect to pay around a hundred bucks. So thanks for looking, and we'll see you next time.